I got a call from Gary Hart, who was running Paramount Network Television at the time. I was living in New York, and um, he said, do you believe in psychics, ESP, psychic phenomenon? And I said, no, I don't. He said, oh, hmm. I said, why? He said, well, he said, Kelsey Grammer last year, Kelsey has a production company at Paramount, was trying to do a talk show pilot called Oracles. And the concept of this pilot was that we would find five oracles. We'd find a numerologist, an astrologer, a psychic, two other people like that. <laughs> and they'd be on stage and they would to give readings. And I think some of this was in the blush of the success that John Edwards was having at that time. He had a show called, I think, Crossing Over, a talk show. So Kelsey thought, I'll have this talk show. So to do this pilot, they had identified 300 psychics from all over the country and brought them to Hollywood. And Gary said among these 300 psychics was this one woman who absolutely didn't fit the profile. She, she wasn't wearing a muumuu, she didn't have an 800 number, uh, she appeared to be young and sort of hip and in the moment. And he and Kelsey started talking to her and her name was Alison Dubois. And they said, who are you? Where do you come from? She says, well, actually I'm studying law and I work in the district attorney's office and I'm married to uh, an engineer. He's actually an aeronautics engineer, and you know he's a scientist. And blah 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 blah. And they were both sort of startled. And Kelsey began to develop, I think, a fairly meaningful friendship with her, as did Gary. And Gary said, "I'm convinced there's a television show in this woman. Would you like to meet her?" And I was, I think, I was sort of ambivalent. But um, woman I was uh, living with at the time, my wife now, <laughs> said to me, "Oh." Don't be such a snob. I, I would think that'd be fascinating. So I got on a plane. I came out here, and we met in the Paramount, Paramount Commissary. She lives in Arizona. She lives in Arizona. And I said, basically, I said, "Tell me about the first time you had an experience." And she did. She told me about this thing that happened to her when she was seven. I said, "All right." Tell me about the second time you had an experience. Tell me about the third. And I marched her through her life. And she got to, and then I was 14, and I discovered that if I drank, I could keep the voices down. And I was very struck by that. I thought, wow, what a naked admission. At the same time, I thought, perhaps this woman is a functional schizophrenic, because she sees things and hears voices and all this sort of thing. And I said, uh, has anyone ever prescribed Haldol for you, which is a drug used to control uh, schizophrenia. She looked at me, she laughed, she said, no. And then she continued to tell me more and more about her life. And she told me the stories with such vigor. At the end of the two and a half hours, I was exhausted, but she clearly could have gone another five or six hours. She was clearly telling me about her life. Now, whether it was real or not was immaterial. What was clear was it was real to her. She believed it with all her heart. And the thing that fascinated me was she lived with a man whose religion is the physical facts of the world. He's a scientist. And I thought, what must this pillow talk be like? I mean, how do you do this? How do you? So I became intrigued and started to write the pilot for uh, Medium, 